Good, Good morning, morning, Mrs. Sullivan. Does anyone know what a field trip is? I don't. Uh, I don't. Uh -oh. As you know, we're about to study animals. To get us started, I thought we'd spend the morning on a field trip at the zoo. All oh, right. I love it. Fine. My favorite animal is the tiger. Roar! I hope we see monkeys. How about a hippopotamus? Why not us? <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. You're so funny. I hope we see camels. I like all the beautiful birds. The zoo is a wonderful place where we can learn all about the animals that live with us here in our world. Animals are like us in many ways. They eat, sleep, and play, but they're also different. Let's go and find that out. Welcome, Welcome to, to the, the little, little schoolhouse. schoolhouse. I'm Mr. Magic, Magic the, the official Magic, Magic rabbit. rabbit. Mrs. Mrs. Sullivan, the teacher, can't see or hear me, but the kids can. The kids? Oh my gosh, I better join them on their field trip. I don't want to miss this special day. Now at the zoo you're likely to find the most unusual creatures. Birds and fish and lions and such and lots of curious people. They come from all over the world, the jungle, deserts, ocean. There are snakes, lizards, and bugs. Come see the creatures. The last time Rocky went to the zoo, he saw the alligators. I wanted a little one for a pet. No, we said his mother. Some of the creatures make wonderful pets, like dogs and cats and hamsters. But others don't, they really are wild. Come see the creatures. Animals that we saw today, the wolves, tigers, monkeys, birds, bats, snakes, and fish, the dolphins, and the camels, the elk, the deer, and even the frogs, we're all happy to see us. The zoo is such a wonderful place, come see the creatures. So come on out and pack a lunch and bring your friends and family. You'll see creatures large and small, and you can even ride one. Every time you come to the zoo, you'll find another favorite. Don't delay, they're waiting for you. Come see the creatures. Now, let's be sure to stay together. You won't want to wander off and miss something. We'll see all sorts of animals, everything from tigers to rabbits. Speaking of rabbits... That's right, Mr. Magic. Where do you suppose he is? Hey, Tommy! Mr. Magic, we were just talking about you. I'm glad you came to the zoo with us today. Me too. I wouldn't miss the chance to visit all my friends at the zoo. Let's see. Why don't we begin over here? Come along, class! Hiya, Jody. Mr. Magic, where did you come from? I'm never very far away. Look, Mr. Magic. Monkeys. I take it you like monkeys. Oh, yes. I think monkeys are great. They remind me of my little brother Billy. <laughs> okay. Oh, I just meant that Billy likes to climb up on everything. He even likes to eat bananas. In many ways, animals are a lot like you and your brother Billy. For instance, monkeys have thumbs so that they can pick up things just like you can. And they can use their hands to grab hold of things like this snow monkey. And their feet are like hands too. What happened to that monkey's tail? Mm, nothing. You see, this is a special kind of monkey. It doesn't have a tail. It's called a gibbon. They sure have long arms, don't they? Yeah, they use their long arms to swing from branch to branch. Looks like fun. Most monkeys live in trees. They're really handy when it comes to swinging from limb to limb. I like watching the monkeys most of all. They're so much fun to watch. Yes, but we can't stay here all day. No. Jody, Jody! Coming, Mrs. Sullivan. Over here, Jody. Look at the great big fish. Those aren't fish, Michelle. Those are dolphins. Oh. 
What's different? They look like fish. They even have tails and fins. They may look the same, but they're very different. Remember the fish we saw? Yes, they were beautiful. They were all different colors. Yeah. Even though fish live underwater, they still need air to breathe, just like we do. We use our mouths and noses to breathe, and fish use their gills to breathe underwater. The gills are the little slits on the fish's sides by the head. Oh! A dolphin can't breathe underwater because they don't have gills like fish. Instead, a dolphin breathes the air just like we do. That's why he can't stay underwater all the time like the fish. Every once in a while, he comes to the surface to exhale old air from his blowhole. And there she blows. At the same time, he takes a breath of fresh air. Gosh, I wish I could swim with those dolphins all day long. Come along. Ever heard of elk? There's a herd of elk. I think I'll find out where Rocky went. Ooh, snakes! Snakes are like us a little bit too. They are. Snakes need to eat and sleep too. This snake is called a boa constrictor. Uh, unlike us, he only eats once every two weeks since he digests his food very slowly. I'd get pretty hungry if I only ate once every two weeks. <laughs> Me too. Look at his tongue. A snake uses his tongue for smelling the way we use our noses. Neat! A boa constrictor is a reptile. Uh, most people think reptiles have slimy skin. Most don't. The sun shining upon their scales makes them look slimy. Turtles, lizards, crocodiles, and alligators are also part of the reptile family. Oh, hi, Mr. Magic. What are you looking at, Michelle? I'm looking at this beautiful bird. I wonder if he lives at the zoo all the time, or if he's just visiting. I don't know, but we could ask some of his friends. <laughs> oh my goodness, they're beautiful. There must be hundreds and hundreds of kinds of birds. I'm sure they all look different, but they're all the same in many ways. Really? They all have feathers, and they all lay eggs. They all have some sort of beak or bill that's just perfect for them. These birds have long bills to scoop up fish from underwater. Pink, my favorite color. Boy, what long legs. Their long legs make it easy for them to wade through the water. Some birds also like to swim. Birds like ducks and swans spend more time in the water than they do in the air. Wow, look at their pretty feathers. Most birds use their feathers to fly. Not all birds fly, though. The penguin and the ostrich are stuck on the ground with the rest of us. But most birds can soar through the air with their feathered wings. They also use their wings to fly to their nest to watch over their eggs. And when those eggs hatch, the babies peck their way out of the shell. They stay in the nest, though, until they're strong enough to fly like their parents. That's what I like best about birds. They can fly. I wish I had wings like that. We better fly right back to the rest of the class before we're missed. Now, let me see. Is everyone here? There's Rocky, Tommy, Jody, and... Oh, there you are, Michelle. Ah, now, class, we've come to one of the most fascinating animals at the zoo. I know what it is, Mrs. Sullivan. It's a camel. That's right. Like us, camels need food and water. But unlike us, most camels can go eight to ten days without water. They're perfect for living in harsh climates like the desert. I guess there isn't a lot of water in the desert. Look at that! I never noticed what long and thick eyelashes a camel has. Those big, beautiful eyelashes help keep the blowing dust and sand of the desert out of his eyes. He looks lumpy to me. Humps, Rocky. I never saw a camel with two humps before. That's because there are different kinds of camels. Some have two humps, and some have only one hump. And some camels don't have any humps at all. They don't? No. Remember the llama we saw? 
It belongs to the same family that the camel does. It's even called a humpless camel. Does a llama live in the desert too? Most llamas are found in the mountains. People use them to carry things. And they're raised for their wool. Do you remember its thick coat? Yeah, it looked like a sheep's coat, only brown. Yes, it makes beautiful sweaters. Come along. Wow, how did you do that, Mr. Magic? It's all in the wrist, but uh, look behind you, Rocky. Wow, Mr. Magic, a tiger. I thought you might be interested in this guy, Rocky. The tiger is the biggest cat in the world. Cat? You mean he's just like Tommy's kitty Felix? Mm, very much like Felix. You see, there are families of animals, and like family members, all cats are similar yet different, too. I see what you mean. Felix the cat even has stripes like this tiger. Yeah, that's right. This tiger has claws that look just like Felix's claws, too. Only bigger, of course. Baby cats are called kittens. What are baby tigers called? Young tigers are called cubs. But uh, before we're going too long, let's take a look at the mountain lion. Mountain lion? Great! A mountain lion is also called a cougar, a puma, or a panther. Do you think the mountain lion has a rough tongue like Felix? He sure does. That rough tongue is how he keeps himself clean. All cats keep their coats shiny and clean with their rough tongues. I have to keep myself clean too, only I have to take baths. Mountain lion is one of the largest cats in North America. Neat! Let's take a look at one more member of the cat family, the lynx. Here, kitty kitty. <laughs> the lynx is also called a bobcat. He doesn't have much of a tail, does he? No. Unlike the tiger and the mountain lion, the lynx has a short, stubby tail and small, pointed ears with tufts of hair growing from the tops. I see that. I think I better get back with the group now. Do you know the way? Oh, Rocky, Rocky over here. Now, you wouldn't want to miss the largest land animal in North America, would you? The bison, the American buffalo. Boy, do they look big. How much do you think he weighs? Well, male buffaloes can often weigh as much as a ton. Wow! That's as much as a small car. Mm-hmm. Buffaloes used to roam the open country and grasslands of North America. Come along now, class. Hiya, Tom. Hi, Mr. Magic. Where did everybody go? Uh-oh. Never mind. Do I have a treat for you? Come on. See, Tom? Dogs. Well, not exactly. Hmm. Woof, woof. This is an Arctic fox. It's also called a blue fox. See a soft, thick fur? Yeah. That helps him keep warm in the cold northern climates where he lives. The Arctic fox is a member of the canine family, like Michelle's dog Rex, and uh, like the coyote. He looks a little like Rex, too. I wonder if he howls like Rex. Coyotes do howl like dogs. They're meat eaters, too, just like dogs. Aren't we meat eaters, too, then? I mean, I eat hamburgers a lot. <laughs> That's right. And then, of course, there's prairie dogs. Aren't they cute? They sure are. They got their name since their bark often sounds like the bark of a dog. But you know, they're really not dogs at all. You see now how coyotes and arctic foxes are like us, too? And they're all related to the same little dogs like Rex. Yeah. But uh, back to the group, Tom. Mm-hmm. Jody, look! It's rabbits, just like you. Aren't they cute? Of course. All rabbits are naturally gorgeous, you know. They're smaller than you are. How'd you get so big? <laughs> I ate a lot of carrots when I was a little bunny. But we better get back to the group now. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.
Well, class, it's getting late. It's time for us to go back to the little schoolhouse. Oh, oh do we do we have have to go. I'm sorry, class. We'll come back to the zoo another day. That was fun. It sure, it sure was, Mrs. Sullivan. Now let's sing the creature song. Now at the zoo you're likely to find the most unusual creatures. Birds and fish and lions and such and lots of curious people. They come from all over the world, the jungle, deserts, ocean. There are snakes and lizards and bugs. Come see the creatures. Last time Rocky went to the zoo, he saw the alligators. I wanted a little one for a pet, and no, always said his mother. Some of the creatures make wonderful pets, like dogs and cats and hamsters. But others don't, they really are wild. Come see the creatures. Animals that we saw today, the wolves, tigers, monkeys, birds, bats, snakes, and fish, the dolphins, and the camels, the elk, the deer, and even the frogs were all happy to see us. The zoo is such a wonderful place, come see the creatures. So come on out and pack a lunch and bring your friends and family. You'll see creatures large and small, and you can even ride one. Every time you come to the zoo, you'll find another favorite. Don't delay, they're waiting for you. Come see the creatures. I'm glad you enjoyed the zoo so much. I sure did. It was I great. Sure did. It was great. But you know, great. there are other animals that we didn't see at the zoo. These animals make their homes on a farm. Can you name a few? <laughs> what are you doing, Mr. Magic? What animal lays eggs and goes... <laughs> a chicken! A chicken lives on a farm! Right! <laughs> a rooster lives on a farm, too! Chickens do live on a farm. A female chicken is called a hen. A hen lays the eggs. A male chicken is called a rooster. A rooster often crows early in the morning. His cock a doodle doo is as good as any alarm clock in the morning on the farm. Sheep live on a farm too. <coughs> <coughs> Pigs live on the farm and like to roll in the mud. <laughs> Rolling around in the mud doesn't sound like fun to me. I get my fur all must and dirty. <laughs> what other animals live on the farm? Cows live on farms. We get our milk from cows. Moving right along. <laughs> yes. Moving right along. What animal can you think of that lives on a farm that you can ride? A horse. I get to ride a horse every time I finally go to the Lazy J Ranch. A horse neighs like this. Nay! Right. The horse is an important animal. Before there were cars, horses took people everywhere. They pulled carriages and riders rode on their back. Gee, what could that be? Are you stuck? Need a hint? Where have you heard that sound before? What animal paddles around a pond saying wah, wah, all day long? I got it. Duck! No, I mean quack quack duck. Very funny, Rock. Yeah? Sure, you're always funny. You quack me up. <laughs> <laughs> All right, class. How would you like to play a game? Oh, we love games! Great! Yeah. Well, another way that animals are like people is that they have babies. I'm sure we all like baby animals, don't we? I'll say the name of an animal, and you tell me if you know what that animal's babies are called. For example, 
pig's babies are called piglets. How about a deer? A baby deer is called a fawn. Right. How about a horse? I know, I know. A baby horse is a foal. Right. A tiger? A cub. I remember that from the zoo. A baby bear is also called a cub. Very good. What about a baby dog? Michelle, you should know that one. A puppy. Rex was a puppy once. Speaking of Rex, there are other animals that we haven't talked about yet. They may be the most special of all. Do you know what I'm talking about? You mean our pets, like Parakeet Petey. Our pets often live in the same places that we do. Pets are like us because they need to be loved and cared for just the way we do. I have a goldfish, Moby. I take care of him all by myself, too. I feed him every day and change his water, too. That's what I like about pets. Pets give us something to love and take care of. Well, we've talked about so many different animals today. Animals are like us in many ways, but they're all so different. No matter how different all of the animals are, each one has a special place on the earth. Each is perfect in its own way. I couldn't have said it better myself. Now, let's see how much you remember about the animals we met today. Remember this guy? He was so much fun to watch. It's right, it's a gibbon. And this animal, remember he could use his hands and his feet to pick up things. It's a snow monkey. And remember all those brightly colored fish we saw? And of course, we learned that these two animals aren't fish at all. Remember what they were called, though? That's right, dolphins. We remember the herd of elk? <laughs> oh, here was an interesting animal. Ooh, it's a snake called a boa constrictor. Those beautiful birds we saw. Yeah. We even saw ducks and swans. Hmm. Remember what this animal's called? Eh? Right, a two humped camel. And remember, this animal was called the humpless camel. Remember his name? That's a llama. And this animal is the biggest cat in the world. Remember his name? That's right, a tiger. And this is the biggest cat in North America. Remember his name? A mountain lion. Remember this guy's name? A lynx. That's right. And this animal is called a what? That's right, a buffalo. Remember this guy? Here's a hint. This animal likes cold climates. It's an arctic fox. <laughs> This fellow is related to uh, the dogs in your neighborhood. Remember his name? That's right, Coyote. This little dog isn't related to the dogs in the neighborhood. No, this is a prairie dog. And I'm sure you didn't forget the name of these adorable guys. All good things must come to an end, class. So long until next time. When I get home, I'm going to brush old Rex until his coat shines like gold. Yeah, well, when I get home, I'm going to give Felix a great big dish of tuna fish cat food. I'm going to go play with my Petey Bird. You know, he can walk along my fingers. I think he said something to me once, too. Moby doesn't talk, but his mouth moves a lot. He goes like this. Wow, wow, wow. Wow, what, what a special day we had. But we'll have more fun next time at the Little Schoolhouse. 
See ya.